Today is the best day to repent. Not tomorrow. Not next month. Not next year. Not to my next birthday. Today is the best day to repent. Most beautiful blessing we have given is the chance to repent. Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack. Friends, brothers, and sisters, nothing can stop God's plan for your life. Reflect and be blessed. Jesus began to reproach the cities in which most of his deeds of power had been done because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, on the day of judgment, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be brought down to Hades. For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, that on the day of judgment, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my friends. Let me start my reflection with this question. What will be your reaction? What will, what will you do if you do your best and yet people don't care. Imagine yourself as a teacher. You gave your best effort, you prepared your lesson plan, <laughs> but when you are already at school in the field, your students are not interested. Imagine yourself as a parent. You try your best to discipline your children, but your children ignore you and you don't have the manner. What will you do? Why Jesus reproaches the cities of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum? Why? And he says here, if this, if deeds of power have done this one to you, people will do this. Jesus was upset with these three cities mentioned in today's gospel because they were used to what is evil. You know, doing evil deeds was a normal deeds for them. They were enjoying wicked lifestyle and they do not know how to do good anymore. In short, they lost the sense of sin. They lost the sense of sin. They're enjoying wicked deeds, they're enjoying evil, and they do not know what is good anymore. Do you know someone like, you know, 
even if you have a friend and you you are used to it like for example when you are used to swear and it becomes a habit you lose the dignity of words and you don't know the wrong from the right because it's normal to you you are used to it and what's the gospel is trying to tell us today number one Jesus warns us of the coming of punishment for those who do not repent. There is a certain punishment if we refuse to repent. Woe to you! It is a warning. This will happen to you if you don't repent. Woe to you if you delay your repentance. Greater is the punishment for those who postpone their transformation. But the friends, if you know that it is wrong and still you do it, the consequence is severe. We will be punished if we don't repent. Second, we are reminded that today is the best day to repent. Not tomorrow, not next month, not next year, not on my next birthday. Today is the best day to repent. This is not the final judgment yet. It means there is time to repent. We still have the chance to change. And every day is a chance to be better. Tomorrow is not the right time. Because the Bible says we don't even know what will happen tomorrow. That's why there's a beautiful quotation that I'm going to share with you. The sun may rise tomorrow, but we may not repent today. Because the most beautiful blessing we have given is the chance to repent. The most beautiful blessing we have given is the chance to repent. And finally, we are challenged today. Correct what is wrong. Right what is wrong. Never be accustomed to the temporary pleasure of the wickedness. Because the devil will not give us or will not inform us the evil consequences of our evil deeds. The style of the devil is enjoy now, suffer later. But Jesus is warning us, hey guys, if you don't return today, and it says here, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom than for you. And it says, if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. That's why it's, there was a punishment, you know, there was a fire, they were destroyed by fire because they were wicked people. Today, my dear friends, let me end my reflection by saying, it's never too late to repent. That's why our responsorial psalm is telling us today, Turn to the Lord, and you will live. Turn to the Lord, and you will live. Remember, the most beautiful blessing we have given is the chance to repent.
if the gospel we preach does not include repentance, we are preaching faith and false doctrine. Friends, there is still time to change. Repent now, because if we don't repent, there is a severe consequence as the Lord is telling us. Let us not delay or postpone our conversion. Repentance pleases the Lord. Turn to Him and we will live.